Hey, it's Andrew here at Sea Run Fly and Tackle, and I'd like to show you our range of F and F jelly fritz. So in F and F jelly fritz, we carry 20 different colors. We carry the standard jelly, we carry micro jelly, and we also carry two-tone jelly. So the F and F jelly is incredibly popular for tying blobs, boobies, and a whole range of flies for both fresh and salt water. Used a lot by local steelhead and salmon anglers on intruder patterns as well. Very popular product, 20 different colors, three different styles, always available at Sea Run in the store or online, www.c-run.com. And as well as showing you this product in the store, we're also gonna show you how you can incorporate it into some of our favorite fly patterns Hopefully you like the product and you give it a try as well. We really enjoy using it. F and F jelly frets, two-tone prawn, always one of our favorites, and 20, 19 other colors I should say to choose from, 20 in total. Great product, always here at Sea Run Flying Tackle. Okay, well, let's show you how to use some of this F and F uh, jelly that uh, Andrew was just telling you about. Uh, I've got a couple of colors here. I've got prawn, and I'm going to use the two-tone, uh, they call this one Zest on Pink. And uh, for this fly, or basically what I'm going to show you how to tie, is, uh, is a blob. So, you can see I've got an RX FW581, uh, size 8, wet fly, barbless hook, fixed into the vise. And on there, I've got a fluorescent chartreuse, uh, Wapsie Slycops bead. Um, in this instance, I'm going to use a 1 8 doesn't need to be a crazy heavy bead. I mean, by all means, if you want to fish this very deep, um, go ahead and use a tungsten bead if you like, um, or else you I mean you can even tie these completely without a bead. So totally up to you. Um, I like to fish this fly under an indicator, um, quite often. So I'll add a, a brass bead just to help sink things a little bit. And then I've always either got a little swivel, uh, or else some, uh, tungsten putty or a little split shot on my line just to help things sink. So, like I said, got the, the hook fixed into the vise nice and tight. I've got some fluorescent shell pink UTC 70 denier thread loaded into my Dr. Slick bobbin. And we're just going to fasten our thread onto the hook shank. Trim off our tag. And then I'm going to do a little short tail with some um, crinkle mirror flash by Cascade. Uh, in this case, uh, pearlescent, just a little flash in the, in the back of the fly just to help grab the fish's attention. I've made a stack of a few strands of this material. It doesn't need to be crazy long or anything like that, just enough to kind of stick out, but I just want a short stiff stacked little tail here. And I'm going to trim it mm, about one hook gape, maybe just slightly longer. I can always make it shorter. It's really, really, really difficult to add once you've trimmed that guy off. All right, next step, I'm going to take a piece of that two-tone F and F, and I'm going to strip some of the material from the core just to make it easier to tie in. You can see I've exposed that white synthetic core there. I'm going to pull those fibers back and we'll just fasten this into place. Tie it in so it's nice and secure. I'm just going to bring that thread forward just to get it out of the way. Now, when I palmer this material or wrap this material around the shank of the hook, I'm just going to pull these fibers back just a little bit just to kind of keep things neat and going in the same direction. I'm going to stack this fairly tight. And is that about three? Now let's go one more, four wraps of this material. Bring my thread back. A couple of wraps over it. 
couple in front just to lock everything tight in place. I'll trim that flush. And then from here, I'm gonna grab a piece of that prawn F and F jelly. Same thing, strip off the core, exposing that to tie in. I don't know if you can hear our annoying door buzzer in the background there. If you can, I apologize, especially if you're wearing headphones. We'll fasten that in. And same thing, I'm gonna pull those fibers back. I'm gonna wrap a nice tight body. Bringing that all the way up to our bead. few wraps of thread over, a couple in front, make sure everything's secure, trim that nice and flush, and if you've got a little bit of a tag sticking out you can always kind of push that in behind that bead, a couple extra thread wraps just to secure everything in place, quick whip finish, trim that thread flush and there you have it very simple very effective pattern you see that tail is not too long I might trim that just a little teeny tiny bit but that's just me nitpicking and there you have a blob hope you found this video useful uh, yeah great range of tying materials here um, useful for all types of applications feel free to come by the shop and check it out or else by all means check us out online like Andrew said www.c-run.com thanks for watching